The Chinese New Year or Spring Festival is the biggest and the most important festival in China. It's the time for the family reunion. People always go home, no matter how far they stay. The celebration period of the Chinese New Year lasts 16 days, starting from the Chinese New Year's Eve and lasting until the Lantern Festival, the 15th day of the first lunar month. Only the first seven days are the official public holiday. Just three days to find the date and the Chinese zodiac animal signs of the recent years, or claim this link to know more. There are many legends and stories about the origin of the Chinese New Year. The most famous one is about the Mountain Nian. The scary Nian came out of the forest to feed on animals and humans every Chinese New Year's Eve. People ate this every time until they knew that Nian was afraid of the color red and the loud noises. After that, they would wear red clothes, put red papers up. Hand red lanterns and a set of firecrackers to scare away the mountain men. These traditions have been continued to this day. Chinese New Year has a history of over 4,000 years. It originated from the worship of the gods and the ancestors from the pre-Qin period. The first fully written calendar appeared in Han Dynasty. It fixed the date of the Chinese New Year, the first day of the first month in the Chinese lunar calendar. From Wei and Jin dynasties to Qing dynasty, there are more and more Chinese New Year activities, such as people started the New Year's Eve tradition of Shou Sui in Wei and Jin dynasties, which is all night revelry. During the Tang dynasty, people established the custom of sending Bai Nian Tie, that's the Chinese New Year's greeting card. In the Song dynasty, people began to make Bian Pao, the firecrackers. Setting off firecrackers would gradually become prevalent in the Spring Festival. In the Qing Dynasty, the Spring Festival was not over until the Lantern Festival. Guessing lantern riddles was very popular to have fun. From 2000, Chinese people have had seven-day Chinese New Year Golden Week. It became an official public holiday in 2007. Chinese New Year is rich in traditions and customs. During the 16-day festival season. There are always some specific things to do on a fixed schedule. Usually, the most important days are the Chinese New Year's Eve, Chinese New Year's Day, and the Lantern Festival. New Year shopping. People always go shopping for new clothes, food, snack, decorations, gifts for relatives and friends, like some red things before their relatives or friends' birthday year for good luck. Cleaning house and decorating it with the color red, like lanterns, carpet, and a full character. Enjoy a family reunion dinner on New Year's Eve. Chinese always prepare a table full of delicious dishes, including some lucky food like fish, chicken, dumplings, noodles, and rice cake. It's the most important time. All the family members sit, eat, and chat together and enjoy the moment of reunion. After dinner. People have lots of fun playing mahjong, chatting, watching CCTV Spring Festival gala, exchanging wishes and red envelopes. Nowadays, people like to use WeChat to exchange greetings and red envelopes. The most popular greeting is Happy Chinese New Year in Chinese, 新年快乐 or you can say 新年好 Setting up firecrackers and fireworks for the kids. It may be one of their favorite activities. Watching lion and dragon dances, like in Guangzhou and Hong Kong. Visiting relatives and friends with gifts. Watching folk shows and attending temple fairs, like the famous Di Tan Temple Fair in Beijing. Some people have their wedding as their families and friends are at home due to the seven-day public holiday. There are some activities that the Chinese must do. Are there any things that people can't do? Yes. Sweep up on New Year's Day, or you will sweep all your luck away. Don't say unlucky words such as death, poor, sick, and any other words with negative meaning. Don't break anything, especially plates or dishes. It means. You are breaking your connection to prosperity and good fortune. What's your favorite tradition of this festival? Do you have such a holiday in your country? Let me know in the comments below. 
We are make more videos about China and Chinese culture. Don't forget to subscribe China Travel Channel if you want to know more. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.